In this video, we are going to use the Excel to do a five-step hypothesis test to see if students in different college years have significantly different drinks per month. And there are some hints. One, you need to sort the data based on the college year, similar to what we did in the t-test, right? In the second, you may need to create a new table for conducting the ANOVA test. I will do the process and let you see how we do it, okay? The very first thing is that we go through the five steps. The first of all, state the noun and alternative hypothesis. Now, of course, in this one, we are going to use the ANOVA test, right? In the ANOVA test, the noun hypothesis will always be all the population means are equal okay mu1 equals to mu2 equals to mu3 equals to mu4 everything is same. Um, the alternative hypothesis is a little bit different is that we don't say mu1 is unequal to mu2 equals to mu3 we just say some mu are different than some other mu's or uh, put in the other way is that at least there is one group is significantly different from at least another group. Okay, pay attention to this one. So the second one is identify the distribution um, and the degree of freedom. Okay, the distribution, of course, we are using the ANOVA. Um, the ANOVA distribution are using the F test. So the F distribution okay and also we need to calculate the degree of freedom now for the ANOVA there are within degree of freedom um, and also there is a within degree of freedom and there is also a between degree of freedom right um, so we will see that in here the within degree of freedom uh, usually what do we do is the big N minus K so the total sample size 20 the um, the groups are four groups as you can see there are four groups right so 20 minus 4 is 16 the between groups is that the group number minus one so the group we have is four minus one that would be three okay um, so the step three we will calculate the critical value for the uh, F and also we will calculate the critical value for uh, I'm sorry the obtained value For the F, then we are going to make a decision based on comparing the critical F value and obtain F value, or just simply based on the P value that Excel gives us. Okay, so in order to do that, we are going to use um, the Excel data analysis. But again, like the here, you will see that you may sort the data based on the college year for easy selection. Also, you may want to create a new table. So let's do it. Now, first of all, we were going to sort the data based on the college year because we're looking at the different people, students in different college years. It doesn't really matter how you're going to sort it, but just sort it, okay? So look, we have four freshmen uh, we have six junior, four senior, and six sophomore. Okay, so I need to create a new table for easy selection to run the data analysis in the Excel. So first of all, we're going to uh, create a new sheet. Okay, like here, and just put the label inside: freshman, uh, sophomore. Let's make. A more organized, uh, junior, senior. Okay, let's make it more organized. Adjust this one to make it clear. 
okay middle looks cool right so for the freshman we have what are we looking at drinks per month drinks per month four of them copy for the sophomore we also have drinks per month sorry carefully copy them for the junior we also have drinks per month Carefully copy them, six of them, right? So for the senior, we also have um, senior here. Senior, one, two, three, four, right? So that plus 10, that's 10, 20, okay? Now we have this table. This table is just a diff load different from this table we remake the table right there are four people four freshmen um, that drinks 5 5 10 12 25 there are six sophomore drinks 25 35 15 20 0 and 15 okay so we go into click the data run the data analysis okay pick the first one ANOVA single factor because we only have single factor okay the range is all the thing you have to select all the thing okay and also we select the first um, row as a label so we have to click the labels use alpha level 0.5 then we click OK okay that's just this one so this is giving you um, the ANOVA test okay as you can see uh, the average for freshman is 11, average for the sophomore is 18, average for the junior is 20, average for the senior is 17.5. Seems there is a difference, but is this sig difference significant? We will see. Okay, now we can double check it. See, we have the between groups degree of freedom is 3. Between is 3, right? Good. And we have within groups degree of freedom 16 within group degree of freedom 16 good right uh, we have our f value and also uh, the f value is 0 0.68 up to end value 0 0.68 okay we have our critical value 3.238 so 3.239 So now we can make a conclusion. The conclusion is that the F obtained is less than F critical. So therefore, um, we cannot reject the non hypothesis. So we have to accept the Noun hypothesis. Okay, the noun hypothesis is um, students in different college years have no, no significantly different drinks per month. Okay, although we we see that freshmen seems to drink less, but this difference is not a statistically significant difference we can also make the same um, same conclusion based on the p-value here right the p-value is 0 0.57 and as we always mentioned the cut points most of the time is 0 0.05 so if the p-value is larger than the 0 0.05 we cannot reject the null hypothesis we will accept the null hypothesis so here p-value is really larger than the 0 0.05 we cannot reject the null hypothesis. We have to accept the null hypothesis. The null hypothesis is that all the means among those four groups are statistically the same. And we say this one with our 95% confidence. Okay. And last thing I want to show you is to double check the F critical by 
looking at the table, the F table, right? We are getting this number from the Excel F test, like here. But whether this is the, the right one in the table, so we open the F distribution, the F table, right? We're looking at the alpha level 0 0.05. Um, degree of freedom between is 3 and within is 16 so 3 16 3.24 3.24 3.24 3 kind of the same right so that's it okay